All right, very important. I want to cover the difference between compression thread and pipe thread, uh, and then the adapter between the two. Whenever you see an iron pipe like this, please note that this is a tapered thread. It is iron pipe, and that is a thread type, as opposed to compression thread, which is this little half of this adapter. Compression thread always has an angled top and is always intended to have a gas uh, line that also has a matching mate for it that has a tapered end like this. The important thing to note is when you're doing compression fittings like this, you can never put the compression fitting to an iron pipe. That would be disastrous uh, because it won't seat, it won't seal. The way you go from a flex line to an iron pipe is you use an iron pipe adapter. So as you can see, if we had a female by female coupler, we could continue this uh, pipe to flex, or we can do take this adapter off, and now we have a gas valve here. We've got a compression fitting on the end, usually always brass, and we have a compression gas flex. That will go on there safely. No thread sealant is to be used on compression. So whenever you're using a compression fitting, these beautiful uh, yellow flex lines, do not use any type of thread sealant. But whenever you're applying uh, an adapter or screwing elbows on to iron pipe, you have to use thread sealant. So that's the critical thing to note there. So for example, let's uh, review. If we have an adapter, it's going from half inch iron pipe to 3 8 compression. No sealant here, absolutely use sealant here. Very important, we've had several gas leaks uh, in different places and it's because uh, rookie mistakes. Uh, again, we have a flared fitting for compression, no sealant. And then on this side, we have iron pipe. Yes, we use sealant there. And this is just a standard stopcock, what you see sticking out the wall when you go to attach your gas flex line. That's the little pro tip on compression versus iron pipe.